moment. Remember, easy does it. <sighs> Hello, Charlie. Hey. When did you get back? Late this morning. I, uh, I was going to call you. Hello, Dorian. Hello, Vicky. It's so good to see you finally decided to come back. Everybody missed you. In fact, some people were worried that you might decide never to come back. Really? Really? And your departure would have been a huge blow to the entire community. Well, some people more than others. So, I, uh, I gather that you and Dorian have been spending time together? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. I would. I mean, we spend time together. We help each other. That's what friends do. Help? I shudder to think the kind of help you provide. Oh, you would be surprised. Well, I, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're not. <laughs> Um, do you think we could talk for a minute privately? Please. Um. Look, I'd, uh, I'd like to kind of clear the air here about Dorian. Yeah, okay, I don't want to talk about Dorian at all. Good. As neither do I. How did you find me? I, I didn't, actually. I came here to meet Marty. I have to talk to her about Jessica's condition. Yeah, of course. Um, well, I haven't seen Marty here since I've been here tonight, but, um, you know, I can take a rain check if you want to track her down. I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to have me hold you up. Charlie, I didn't come all this way just for Jessica. I came for you, too. Ooh, how was London? I mean, that must have been very nice to be able to spend some time with Kevin and Joey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm. It was kind of lonely, too, you know. I mean, I was surrounded by family, but all I could think about was the family I left here. Yeah. Natalie and Jessica. You. I thought a great deal about whether I could help my daughter. And I thought a great deal about whether we can save our marriage. Well, then it sounds like you and I were pretty much in the same place, just on opposite sides of the ocean. And, um, what did you come up with? Can our marriage be saved? Well, I know how lucky I am, believe me. <laughs> women just throw themselves at my Arthur every day. <laughs> Excuse me, would you, would you mind taking it down just a few notches? Thank you. Dorian, you must be feeling very left out. Should I just ask the banks to tell you what is going on? No, thank you. That won't be necessary. Well, for all, all my thoughts and my long walks, no, Charlie, I didn't come up with an answer to the question. I thought going to London would give me time and space to figure things out, and sometimes time and space just make things more complicated. It didn't take me long to realize how foolish I'd been. Foolish? You? Oh, yeah. Of all people, I should know you can't learn from your problems. Well, so now you're back, and we're just... Back where we started before you left. No. No, not quite. You see, one thing was uh, very, very clear to me as soon as I left. Yeah? What's that? How much I missed you. I, I missed you, too. Vicky, Vicky, I did. I'm crazy. 
crazy. There has got to be a way we can make this work. I want to, Charlie. I want to so much, but I'm so afraid now. You know, we tried once before, it didn't work. And I'm afraid because I don't know if I can go through all that, that disappointment and that hurt again. You know, we've both been through so much. So much since Jared died. And maybe it was just too much. Because I don't know if I am strong enough to live with the worry every single day that something might happen to make you drink again. I don't know if we've already tried our hardest and just failed. So you're, you're back to tell us that we have? No. No, Charlie, I, I came back here to tell you that walking away from you was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. And I would like to try again, if you're willing. But, but you just said that you weren't sure if it would ever work again. I'm still not sure, Charlie. You know, I, I, I took Brie on a little side trip to Paris, France. And she was so cute. We saw all the sights and we ate croissant, we wore berets. And then I took her to the Eiffel Tower. And that's where it hit me. Everything that you said to me before I left about Paris, Texas, and the bonjour, and, and the Buenos Dias. Everything you said was right, Charlie. You know, you at heart are a builder. And Every single time we've been split apart, it's you who have put us back together again. I have to tell you, when I walked in here tonight, and I saw you sitting at the table with Dorian and she had her hand on yours, I got so scared because I don't want to live without you. And I, I think that we deserve a chance to be rebuilt again. But only if you're willing. Does this answer your question?